Hey guys, Rob here again, and I'm going to show you how to watch free TV shows on your Fire TV. Um, where we're at is, is you, you might have already seen the free movie section, but if you didn't, you're going to want to scroll down on that little circle. You just hit down. You're going to go to your settings. You're going to go over to applications again. Hit applications and scroll down to here, XBMC on Ouya. Just click that. Then once you're there, you're going to click on launch application. And it starts up uh, your XBMC on the Amazon Fire TV. So this is basically the same type of search function that you would use to watch movies. Uh, we're going to go down to favorites that I have all pre-installed for you. And we're going to go to one channel again. And instead of going to movies, this time we're going to go to TV shows. And TV shows works basically the same. You're going to go ahead and click that circle button. You're going to get into the TV shows. And you can find them through genres, featured. If you hit featured like this or, or most popular, you can find the most popular TV shows. And that's Supernatural, Glee. You know, it has just about everything. It's uh, pretty much the same thing. You could see if you go to most popular, see what pops up. Big Bang Theory. Now, this is going to have every single episode. We're going to click this. This is going to have every single episode, every season, and it updates shortly after the show comes out, maybe an hour or two. It depends on the popularity, but most of the time, like, you know, you have Walking Dead. It's going to have all of them. This season just got over with. Is that on Netflix? No. But it's going to have them all here. So it's going to load all the the uh, episodes of season four right now from the internet. It's going to go ahead and find them. And you have them all here. All the way down to episode 16. And, uh... We're going to go ahead and we're going to use the search function. So you can search by most popular, featured. You can search by genre. You know, a genre pops up. And you have action shows, adventure shows, animation, everything. We're going to just back out of that. And we're going to go up to the search function. The same thing, the virtual keyboard is going to pop up. And you can literally punch in just about any show you can imagine. From taxi to the newest shows like Game of Thrones. So I have Game of Thrones on there. I started watching that probably a few months ago and I got addicted. I don't have HBO uh, so and I'm not gonna order it because I have this. So what I did is is it's populated already so I'm gonna just hit done and it's gonna search all the different spots where I can find Game of Thrones from on the internet. And there we go. Game of Thrones came out in 2011. I love the fan art on here. Uh, you got all the, the fan art. You got the description of the TV show. Uh, everything. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Game of Thrones. And one of the great things about this is there's no commercials. Uh, none of that. So, season four. Season four today is the 16th. And this is the new. So, here we go. We got some of uh, the latest shows from there. Let's see what this one is. This is uh, maybe the last one that came out. This is maybe one or two or three episodes. Honestly, I haven't watched it since the new season came out. So now you have the links, and uh, if you remember from the last epi uh, episode that we have uh, on YouTube, we're going to go into uh, the yellow links because they actually have some of the best streams that are available, but it's not even a big deal. I see Prompt File on there, Gorilla Vid, like I said before, it honestly doesn't matter, but this is the one that has 18,000 views. So that's pretty much a, a good quality stream. So it's buffering now. And there's your show. You got your show going on. And that's pretty much it. 
Now instead of uh, having to go look for this again, we can just go back back up to Game of Thrones and we hit the three little lines again and we can add it to favorites. Now the difference is, is in the last one, we added favorites to the movies. So here you have your movie favorites. If you remember, I, I put Toy Story in there. So if you can see, I got Captain America and Toy Story. I back out of that and then I could go to TV shows. Now I just added Game of Thrones as a favorite because it's two separate favorites, favorites for movies and favorites for TV shows. So I click that, it's already there. I can build a list of all the TV shows if I want to watch Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, you know, just about any TV show, Gilligan's Island, you know, anything I want to watch, here we go. And then all the seasons will pop up and it gets updated just about, you know, every every time a new show comes out relatively quickly, like I said, depending on popularity, this thing could be out an hour instead of waiting six months for the newest, you know, season of Dexter. I remember on Facebook, everybody was saying, oh, Dexter, the new season finally came to Netflix. But, you know, I've had this all the seasons and every episode since uh, I don't even know when, as, as soon as they came out, maybe an hour afterwards. So this is definitely something that is really, really cool about this. Um, and that's it. So, you know, looking for your TV shows. There you go. You got your TV shows. You build your favorites list. You never have to search for them again. Um, and it's updated all the time. So the next uh, video I'm going to do is on 3D movies. If you have a 3D TV, there's hundreds of 3D movies. The newest ones that came out. So you're going to want to check that video out. Thanks, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.